Welcome back to the Tiny Dogs Talk podcast series, Pediatric Interview Edition, your guide in the clinical thinking station or clinical reasoning station of pediatric training interview in the UK. This is brought to you by the British Sudanese Association of Pediatric and Child Health, or PSAPCH in short. I'm your host, Isra Ibrahim, and joining us today is our guest, uh, our presenter, Hanan Oleb. She will be providing a real life demonstration case of the clinical thinking station. So without further ado, let's start our case. So I am dealing with a six month old boy who presented to the A&E with bruise in his cheek and upper respiratory tract infections symptoms. The parent brought him due to upper respiratory tract infection and I noticed some bruises. So I will start with this, examining this child um, uh, firstly, I approach him with an ABCD approach. If I notice the child is stable, playful, so it means that his airway is stable, I will set him in a normal room, not in Arisus, in a and &E. And I will start with looking again for the airway. If he's playing with me, um, his air, so the airway is not at risk, then I will look for his um, chest to see if there is any sign of respiratory distress and they will count the respiratory rate and i will listen to any abnormal sounds like crackles or wheeze because this patient is breathing with the rti symptom he may only have upper upper transmitted upper airway sounds um then uh i will look for um also uh the circulation starting with the blood pressure capillary field time, central and peripheral pulses, and also um, make sure that um, there is no any problem in the sea, no hypotension, uh, the blood pressure in, no, is normal. Then I will proceed to, lo to look for the, uh, to the D, looking for the level of consciousness, is he is alert, playful, the pupil size, and uh, responsive to, the, uh, to anything. Then I will go move quickly to uh, expose the child for from head to toe uh, as uh, as you mentioned earlier there is some bruises in his cheek then i will start to um, ex examine the child from head to toe um this child is six months old with these bruises this made is this made is my suspicion of uh, an accidental injury so um after make sure i make that the child is safe uh, and ABCD is like uh, stable. I was lay. I will lay as me with my consultant that I'm considering a child um, with non accidental injury presenting with bruises in his cheek. Uh, as this child is not mobile and uh, um, I cannot start growling. It's not mobile yet. So uh, this could raise my suspicion of an accidental injury, I will involve the social worker to see if the child is already registered in child protection registry. And then I will um, print the protocol of uh, child protection policy in my trust to fill the safeguarding medical. Um, then I will start examining the child uh, from head to toe examination. I will examine the mouth for any torn frenulum. And also I will see uh, his cheek, the tongue, for any sign of injury, I will look for, to the eye doing fondoscopy. If not expert, then I will uh, liaise with the ophthalmology to do a fondoscopy examination to look for the retina, retinal hemorrhages. Um, and also, I will uh, move to this bruise, examine the bruise to see the size of this bruise, the site. Uh, the color, the button, and I will document this in in the child protection uh, bro form uh, in the body map. I will also uh, record the name of anyone who witnessed me doing the examination, and I will I will also record the history, the time of the history which I took um, in the child protection bro form. Uh, I will document everything. Um, uh, and draw the body map, as I mentioned. Um, and then I will take some labs. Uh, after taking the consent from parents, I will take some labs, including full blood count, uh, use and ease, um, peripheral blood picture or blood film, 
uh, to see the platelet size on it and platelet volume I may I mean I also will do bleeding time uh, factor eight factor nine then will brand factor and um, also I make sure I took all the labs in the according to the trust and the policy of um, the hospital after that i will uh go to the parents take a detailed history from parents uh, asking about these symptoms and the key uh, the key reason behind this bruises and for how long this bruise any history of trauma any history of fall and i will ask also about past medical history uh, if the child has any bleeding tendency or not i will ask also about family history of bleeding tendency and also about any allergies, any events which lead to these bruises. If I find if I find the history of suspicion, for example, the parents rounding from GB to the other to other NE, or I found that the history is not compatible with these bruises, or they are giving a lot of different reasons for bruises. Uh, so this will make the suspicion of an accidental injury more. Uh, then I will talk to the parents. Uh, clearly that we're suspecting an accidental injury and that nobody accusing them but we make we make sure that the, the child is should be will be in safe place uh, i will be honest i'm communicating honestly with them uh telling them the child need admission for some investigations uh if they agree for admission this will be fine if the parents refuse, refuse admission then this um I'm afraid that I will tell them uh, the child should be admitted under police protection order, and uh, if if they still if they still refuse for admission, uh, as I told earlier, I will contact the social workers. The social workers sometimes can go to home to see if other siblings are in safe place, and and um, also uh, during the admission will complete the exam, the investigation, including a skeletal survey. CT scan because CT scan usually is recommended in any child below the age of 12 years to rule out any uh, head injuries, a skeletal survey, and after that there will be a strategy meeting, and this strategy meeting will be done uh, with different members, including the social worker. This will after this strategy meeting, uh, then the there will be a case conference meeting as well, sometimes uh, to decide uh, about the child in the case conference meeting. Um, if the child will be registered in the child protection registry or not, according to the to the the case of the child. Uh, so, um, as I mentioned, uh, this child is six years old. I need to do uh, skeletal survey and CT scan as well. Um, so, um, dealing with the case with the accidental injury is uh, sometimes. Um, sometimes complicated so uh, from the beginning I need to liaise with my, my consultant inform my consultant that I'm dealing with a child uh, protection case um, to make him aware, aware from the, the beginning sometimes there will be a child protection uh, consultant on call uh, that I can um, inform him by this admission early As we come to the end, I want to express my gratitude to our presenter, Hanan Ali for her valuable contribution. I'm your host, Isra Ibrahim, and it has been a pleasure guiding you through this series. Remember, our platform here to serve you with more engaging content and training and pediatric medicine in gen general. Your feedback matter. Please don't hesitate to reach out and share your thoughts. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to explore the rest of BSAP CH YouTube channel website, podcast for more information. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.